you know, the pandemic has given us an opportunity to get out of putting on fire, putting out fires mode and into think about what kind of business we want to have mode. One of the main things we've done is try to really right size our service offerings. What this has done is it's opened the market up for us to be able to provide great service to a broader segment of businesses than maybe we were before who were uh, excluded for budgetary reasons. When I saw virtual tours for the first time, I thought like this is the thing that could really change lives for people. You know, teachers, families that have loved ones with disabilities can now explore those places ahead of time and make decisions based on what they see. Now everybody is nervous and unsure going to new places. So these virtual tours are something that not only is helping people, but um, it's helping those businesses that are struggling. You know, our hope is to really be a part of the recovery process of helping people that, are, that have struggling businesses come out of this with a unique tool to bring people back in. As a team, meeting our families where they are at continues to be our goal. Initially, we provided weekly family activities and check-ins then adjusted and added virtual groups. We had to recreate an almost 30-year program from an in-person format to a virtual format. Participating from home has increased accessibility to our services and provided our children and teens the ability to share more about themselves, their person, and special things that connect them to each other. As they say, adversity drives innovation. Innovation can lead to opportunity. Where we found a lot of opportunity this year has been in the space of online education. So I partnered with our marketing team and we really started to get more online content. That was our goal. So we were doing anything and everything we could to try to get our name out there and showcase some of our digital solutions. The Bible said you would know my disciples for they love one toward another. And what we tried to do is River of the Light Church, but let the community know that we love them and we want to give back to them. We first came off by giving free food. We would allow people to come pick up food or we would have it delivered to their doorsteps. The second thing we've contributed is childcare for essential workers. And we've learned that through the challenges of parents trying to work from home and teach their children has become impossible. So we've extended that to parents who are just really struggling with doing work at home and teaching their children. Some of the best stories have been, you know, hearing from parents that children went from not being able to read to going home at night and reading to their parents or learning how to do a math problem. It's been a great opportunity. Um, we've learned a lot, grown a lot. We've been able to do more work with fewer resources than we had before. Really, it's such a blessing to be a part of a community that is so giving and um, all of the events and the sharing and the, the love that is, is shown is incredible. Let us all remember the words of Bill Ford. While the challenges are great, so are the opportunities. 